from NBC News, this is Today. Dr. Richard Lerner is the director of the Institute for Applied Research in Youth Development at Tufts University. He's also the author of The Good Teen, Rescuing Adolescents from the Myths of the Storm and Stress Years. Dr. Lerner, good morning to good you. Good morning, Meredith. Four great kids that I talked to, all of them agreed that at some point, parents, they're clueless about a lot of what's going on or they're in denial. True or false? Well, it's not that parents are clueless. They certainly know what it was like to be an adolescent. They certainly know their own kid. They had the kid for 12 to 13 years before they became a teenager. But parents do deny that their kid has foibles. In part, it's out of love, and it's uh, also in part because parents are uh, challenged by the stereotypes that kids are just destined to be problems to be managed and so they want to avoid that problem. Yeah, I think teenagers in particular get a bad rap and, and parents tend to focus more on the negative. Why is that and, and how do you reprogram yourself well, as a parent? You know, it's interesting. You know, at Tufts we've been doing a study, the 4-H study of positive youth development. It's uh, sponsored by National 4-H Council, Altria Corporation. We're in 34 states, 5,000 kids, about 2,500 parents, and what we find is, is that every young person has strengths. But parents, when you ask them about the strengths of young people, rather than talk about all these wonderful characteristics that mark a thriving kid, they talk about the kid as, well, they're not smoking, they're not drinking, they're not engaging in unsafe sex. Parents have bought into this bill of goods that what it means to be a good teen is the absence of bad, not the presence of good and things. And when a teenager hears that, you're doing great, uh, Billy or, or Shelley, because you're not smoking, what does it say in the kid's mind? What a dispiriting message to give a young person that, uh, that they're doing good because of not failing as opposed to succeeding. So they're thinking, well, the bar is set so low, what, what could I do? My parents don't think that I'm capable of doing wonderful things, of thriving. But I also think that, that a lot of parents assume that we're going to, the, the kids are going to head down what you call the stormy path, and you say that's a misconception. Yes. What we found in the 4-H study is that all kids have elements of strength. We look at five things, competence, confidence, character, caring, and positive connections. Every kid, we've looked at kids, uh, again, across the United States, across racial, ethnic, uh, religious backgrounds, uh, rural, urban, every kid has strengths. And Parents need to embrace those strengths and try to elevate them. Also, every kid, at least that we talked to, the father we talked to, said at some point or another, they don't tell their parents the truth. They're not totally honest with their parents. So given that, if parents know that, how do you build a trusting relation and how do you set rules and boundaries for well, your kids? Well, the first thing is, is that uh, parents need to understand that kids are always struggling between uh, trying to do good, trying to matter, trying to uh, uh, find meaning and positive purpose in life versus dealing with the challenges. You know, the, when I was growing up, there was a cartoon, a Walt Disney cartoon, a Goofy cartoon, and Goofy struggled with the good Goofy and the bad Goofy. The angel and the devil, yeah. yeah. right. And, and that's what kids are like. They want to be good, they, they want to thrive, but they also have these real challenges, just like we do. And parents need to understand that struggle and help the kid navigate those waters. So much more to get to, Dr. Lerner. We've run out of time. Thank you so much for Thank your you. insight.